Welcome to the very first video in the Beginner's Web Design course. As I mentioned in the introduction, web pages are really just text documents. And they're text documents, well, let me just show you. So I'm going to load up a page. Uh, this is uh, killersites.com. And I want to show you the text. And the way you see the text is you, after you've loaded up your page, you right click on it anywhere. And you're going to look for something called View Page Source. It might be show page source or some other text combination. What you want to look for is source. And the source is in reference to the source of the page. So we're going to click on that. And you see this page of code appears. I'm sure it looks complex to you guys right now. But in fact, once you understand the basics, all this will become very easy to understand. You also have to understand that this is, a, this is a pretty complex page. It's got scrolling top menus here. It's got a video that's embedded in there and uh, a few other things as well. Some behaviors here, I click on the button, the page scrolls up automatically. So this is all written in this source page here. And so it's a lot more complex than your basic web page would be. Regardless, so what is this code? This code is largely something called HTML. So let me just read this off for you. Web pages are just text pages that use a special website building language called HTML. HTML gives instructions to web browsers, think Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, on what to display on a page. It could be text, video, a form, you name it. So what we just did is we looked at the source code. Let me load that up again. We looked at the source code of this page by right clicking, going view page source. So that's what you want to take away from this particular video is that web pages are simply text pages and the text, a big part of it is called the language of web pages rather is called HTML and it tells the web browsers what to do on the page, what to display on the page. There's a couple other languages that are used in web design, and we're gonna learn one of them in this course, and it's the sister language to HTML. It's called CSS. And don't worry about it now. We'll get into it uh, later on. Uh, and there's one other language, of course, but you're not gonna need to know this right now. It's something called JavaScript. Um, so this is all in there. Besides the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript, you have your the actual text that appears on the page here. So CMS is short for Content Management System. So we're going to learn how to identify HTML on a page, what makes HTML HTML, and we're actually going to use HTML in our next video to build a very simple page. So before I leave, I just want to address a question that people are probably asking is why should I learn all this code when there are programs, web design programs like Dreamweaver or Expression Web that will write the code for us. You just click buttons and it builds your pages. The reason you got to learn the code is twofold. First of all, these programs, though they're very good, they don't do everything well. And, and I'm telling you right now, you're, you're going to still have to go into the code by hand and make changes because there are times when these programs just can't get it right. Another reason you want to learn to code is because to be able to structure your pages properly, you really have to understand the basics, what's going on behind the scenes. You have to understand the code and how code should be structured so that you can design a clean web page in terms of uh, in terms of the in terms of its structure really. So for those two reasons alone, you have to learn the coding. And even beyond that, if you use a web design program primarily, and a minority of web designers will use these fancy programs, to be honest with you, um, most of them like to have their hands in the code. Even if you want to learn how to use web design software, having the basics in web design, which are taught in this course, is going to make learning these software packages much, much, much easier than they would be otherwise.